going on guys welcome to the shop welcome back to the shop what are we doing today we're working on a 48 volt charger and uh what's going on with this charger well if you'll notice it's not putting out much power to charge the batteries we're about eight amps right now and these batteries in this car are dead they're around 36 and a half volts so we should be seeing a lot more current coming up more, more like 15 to 20 and as you notice as I tap on it it actually goes down even more so um, if you're having problems with your batteries in your cart not charging and you notice that when you plug it in your charger is doing something like this this is what you're going to look for most likely it's a sign of a bad capacitor and uh, I want to get this charger over on the bench and I'm going to show you where the capacitor is how to test it see if um, that's the problem that you're having with your charger as well so let's get this thing over the bench and get it taken apart guys we got the charger over on the bench and uh, to take it apart it's really simple but before you do anything make sure it's unplugged from the wall and the cart all right it's just a safety thing Especially if you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to be poking around inside of it and get shot. So unplug it first. I've got it unplugged from the cart and from the wall. Anyways, to get inside of here, it's real simple. You just take the screws off the side, the cover comes off. I've already got the cover unscrewed. And uh, we're looking for the capacitor. This is the capacitor right here. That is uh, what we're going to test. And that's normally what goes bad whenever the charger doesn't put out full power. So the way that you test the capacitor is you take your multimeter and you put it on the capacitor feature. And the capacitor feature is this, you see it's a straight line and then a, a circular line right there, the yellow um, symbol there. And you're gonna read the microfarads of the capacitors. Now, how do you know what size capacitor you should be, uh, you should have in your charger? Well, typically it's on the side of these things and it might be really hard to see, but there is a sticker or a stamp right here on the side of it. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus right there. And on this one, it's a six microfarad capacitor, all right? So that's what we're wanting to see on our meter whenever we test it. So I'm gonna get the meter hooked up to this with some clamps so I can hold the camera and talk at the same time. And uh, we'll see what kind of reading we get on this capacitor. One more thing too, before you test the capacitor, you have to make sure it's discharged. So what I do is I just take a screwdriver and I short across the terminals like that. And if there's any charge left in it, it'll short it out and discharge it. You won't get an accurate reading. Um, if it's not discharged. So let's like I said, let's get the clamps hooked up to it and measure the capacitance of it and see if it's good or not. So we've got our clamps hooked up to the capacitor. We discharged it and we disconnected it from the rest of the wiring here. And um, you don't have to use clamps like this. You can just use the normal leads, but I put those on for filming purposes. Anyway, so let's see what kind of reading we're getting. Look at that, 2.79. That U stands for microfarad. So it's really low. We're supposed to be at six. It's all over halfway what it's supposed to be at a spec. So anyways, that lets us know that that capacitor is bad. Let's grab a new one and test it and see what we get. And then we'll put it in here and plug it back into the cart and see what happens. Okay, so we got the new resi uh, not resistor, the new capacitor set up here on the meter. We got its head cooked up. If you'll notice, we're getting about 5.8 microfarads. So that's pretty close to the specs of this thing. This is a brand new one. And uh, anyways, that's what it should look like. When you test yours in your charger, just remember, depending on what charger you're testing, it's going to be a different. Some of them are 20 microfarads, some of them are less, some of them are more. Anyways, just make sure you're checking it for the rated. And if you can't find it on the side, like this one, the old one, where did I, put it? I got it pulled out. It's all rusted. Luckily, that one little section, um, you can read it. But uh, if it's all rusted, Typically, you can find a manual online for these things and they'll tell you the specs of them in the manual. But anyways, we're going to get this put back in the uh, in the charger and plug it in and see what happens. Before I do that, I just wanted to show you one thing that did happen. Whenever I unplugged it, the end broke off of the wire, so I had to put a new uh, spade connector on the end. One thing to keep in mind, if you do replace that, 
this wire inside this sheeting has enamel coating on it. So you have to use like a uh, cigarette lighter or something to burn the enamel off and then file it off uh, with, a, with a needle file or something. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get it put in and hooked up to the cart and see what, uh, what happens. We got it hooked back up, put back together, and uh, let's flip the switch on the, the breaker over here and see what happens. Switch is on, and the charger cuts on, and now we're putting out a lot more power. We're almost up to 15 amps now. So that definitely fixed it for us. So anyways, if you're having the similar issue with your um, charger, it could be that capacitor. So I'd take it apart and test that just like we showed you on the bench. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more golf cart content. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.